Namaste. Hey Aquarius, it's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana. How the heck are you? Aquarius, this is a general reading for you. For you, Aquarius. I know I don't post for Aquarius often, um, but this is for you. My life is about to change. Um, I'm going to have a lot more time dedicated to my YouTube videos, and I will do a lot more Aquarius videos in the future, I promise you. This summer is going to be full of Aquarius videos from Deep Thoughts with Dana. So I do hope that you guys will attend the party because like I said, my life is changing drastically and there will be a lot more videos for Aquarius in the future. All right, so I will put a timestamp um, somewhere on this video where you can skip all of the shuffling and channeling if you'd like to. So Aquarius, let's see what's going on. Spirit, Source, Universal Energy. I have the Collective of Aquarius with me, and Aquarius would like to know what you know, Spirit. What do you know about Aquarius, and what does Aquarius need to know about themselves and their life, Spirit? What is coming towards Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to look out for? What does Aquarius need to look forward to? Spirit, what is it that Aquarius needs to be made aware of um, in this reading, Spirit? Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen and feel free to just come on out. Whoa, we have a little bit of a, a little bit too many. I mean, look at all those. I can't take all those cards, Spirit. I am only human. Let's see what we have thus far. The Queen, the King of Cups, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, the Three of Cups, the King of Swords. One more for the top row, Spirit. What is coming down the road for Aquarius? And what does Aquarius need to know? What is coming down the road for Aquarius? And what does Aquarius need to know, Spirit? What do you need to say to Aquarius? What is the next energetic shift? that is coming for Aquarius. Spirit, one more row of five, please. What is coming down the road for Aquarius? And what does the aqua need to know? The beautiful, beautiful Aquarius. I love you guys. I love you. I love your spirit. I love the way that you think. I love everything about you. And I particularly love that the star is your card. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Okay, middle row. Three of Pentacles, Princess of Cups, Ace of Cups in reverse to the Two of Cups. One more row for Aquarius. Spirit, what else? What are the next five cards that's going to make up this spread for Aquarius? The Chariot, Five of Swords in reverse, the Prince of Cups, and the Two of Swords in reverse. All right. Anything else, Spirit, that you want to say for Aquarius? Anything else? Two of Wands in reverse. Anything else? Whoa, what was that? The Seven of Wands hit the ground. All right. Anything else that you want to say for Aquarius, Spirit? Anything else that you want to say for Aquarius? What does the aqua need to know? What do we got here? These guys. Okay. What else, Spirit? What else does Aquarius need to know? Going once. Going twice. Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. Nice. Anything else, Spirit? Going once. Going, okay. The Tower. <laughs> Whoa. Seven of Cups. What else, Spirit? What else does Aquarius need to know? What else does Aquarius need to know? Your cards are just flying everywhere, Aquarius. <laughs> Stop. Stop. The world in reverse to the moon. And then we have so many cards. Look, there you are. There's the emperor in reverse, the hierophant in reverse, and the five of cups. All right, so the five of cups, 
the Hierophant in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, and the Star. All right, let's stop with your own card there, Aquarius. The Star. Never fear, the Star is here. All right, let's see what this is about. So, King of Cups. Somebody's in their feels, in their feels. Nine of Pentacles in reverse talks about an overinvestment of time and effort. Um, sometimes it talks about financial setbacks, but that's not what this is about in this spread because of all of the surrounding cards, right? So the King of Cups, feelings, feelings, feelings to the Nine of Pentacles, an overinvestment of time and effort, a lack of faith, um, disappointment, hopelessness to the sun in reverse. Not very optimistic. Hmm. Why not? The Three of Cups, when it comes to celebration or reunion, um, there is some stern truth that you are trying to disseminate about giving and receiving with another. King of Swords, again, some truth about your hesitancy, about your... Eh, about baggage, your own baggage, I think it is, Aquarius. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is your lack of ambition, your lack of motivation. Perhaps your expectations of perfectionism that aren't being met. Yep, look, in a love situation and an imbalance. That's right. So the Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration. Ace of Pentacles, no, and the Two of Pentacles, maybe. Princess of Cups in reverse, this is a creative block. Ace of Cups in reverse is blocked or repressed emotions. What's this about right here for Aquarius? Why? Why the blocked or repressed emotions? Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Four of Wands in reverse, to the Seven of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Eight of Wands to the Chariot. Tell me about this Eight of Wands. The Five of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Swords. What the hell, Aquarius? What the hell? Hmm. What's going on here? The Chariot taking some action, moving forward. Four or five of swords in reverse, open to change. The queen of swords, your own truth. Boy, you're just full of truth here. Full of truth. Moving on. Excellent. Moving on. Personal transformation. Beautiful. The prince of cups and the lovers. The wheel in reverse to the two of swords. All right, let's see what's coming down the road over here. So indecision, confusion. The breaking of a cycle, fear of the unknown, challenge, lack of motivation, exploration, discovery to the Ace of Pentacles, the tower, some kind of an awakening. Tell me what this tower moment is for Aquarius right here. What is this tower moment? Uh-huh perfectionism. That's right, Aquarius. That's right. Seven of Cups, options, choices, illusion. Closing out that cycle with the world, dealing with your emotions, loss, regret, despair, disappointment, reevaluating the way that you think. The Emperor in reverse, stubborn control freak to the star. Tell me about the star. Tell me about the star. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, Aquarius, showing up in their own reading. The Page of Wands, right on. Look at that. The Page of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Very, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. We'll take those two, okay? All right. Um, let me get one on this King of Cups up here, Spirit. What is this King of Cups? What is the King of Cups? Open to change. Okay. All right, Aquarius. Back to the top. Let's talk about this. So, Aqua, you open this reading with the King of Cups. This is you having feelings for somebody. 
strong feelings that are building and growing for somebody to the five of swords in reverse and you're kind of open to change and as we saw through the rest of this reading it's you resisting the acceptance of love into your life so much love is going on right here a lot of feelings feels flying everywhere with the king of cups Five of Swords in reverse. This is a dual purpose card right here, okay? This says that you harbor resentment from past relationships. You harbor resentment from past relationships, and you're kind of thinking that that having feelings for somebody is an overinvestment of your time and effort. Star in reverse, Aquarius in reverse, says that you have a lack of faith that anything will ever work out. The Eight of Cups in reverse, kind of hopeless. And the Sun in reverse. You don't have a lot of optimism that this relationship, and I'm pretty sure this is new love coming into your life, that this relationship could ever really be anything significant. The Three of Cups comes in and talks about reuniting perhaps with someone from your past um, but it talks about celebration and and coming together this also talks about perhaps having options and choices perhaps there's people to choose from um, but one of these people definitely holds more weight than the rest of them the king of swords this is you speaking your truth to yourself. This is you looking at the situation from an intellectual, logical, reasonable perspective. No rose-colored glasses going into this love situation, eyes wide open in regards to giving and receiving and sharing the experience of a relationship with one another. There you are again with the King of Swords. This is you being, I think, real hard on yourself, honestly. I think you're being really hard on yourself because you're like, you know what? Every relationship I've ever had has always been fucked up. So what is what makes me think that this is going to be any different? That's you in the King of Swords talking to yourself. The Nine of Wands in reverse. This is overwhelmed, giving up, pessimistic, hesitant, defensive. This is you and your perspective about this new, I think new, it could be renewed love, but I think it's new love coming into your life. Six of Swords in reverse says there's just a lot of baggage. I have so much baggage from all of my relationships in the past that I'm just not real optimistic that something like this could work out for me. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is a three, a tri-purpose card right here. Number one, it says you're lacking ambition. Number two, it says you're lacking focus. Number three, it indicates your expectations of what you think a relationship should be. To the lover's card, what you think a love relationship should be. And temperance in reverse, being major arcana as well, comes in and talks about there's an imbalance inside of you that needs to be realigned. Your perspective about love and relationships is off kilter. And you need to realign yourself in the way that you think about a love relationship. Because if you don't, you're never going to have a real love relationship. You're really hard on yourself and you're harboring resentment from things that have happened in the past. This new person, this is not their fault. It's not their fault. Whatever has happened to you in past relationships, you cannot put on this new love that's coming into your life. And that's what Temperance is saying. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, getting along, having a good time. Ace of Pentacles, this is you coming in and saying, ah, why? It's just going to end up being a lost opportunity anyway. Why? Two of Pentacles, but, you know, maybe I will try to prioritize this. Maybe I'm going to give this a go. Princess of Cups in reverse to the Ace of Cups in reverse. This is you actively blocking the creation of new love in your life. 
This is a creative block. This is blocked emotions. In the center of your reading, this whole reading revolves around your need to clear out the blocked emotions that keep you from fully investing in a Two of Cups love relationship. Queen of Pentacles. This is someone who holds title in someone else's life. Significant. This is relationship material right here. This would be you. To the Knight of Cups. To share your feelings, right? To share your feelings. To open up and be vulnerable to potentially being somebody's Queen of Pentacles. The Four of Wands in reverse comes in and talks about a transition into a unified love relationship is a huge challenge for you with the Seven of Wands. A huge challenge. Eight of Wands talks about an energetic shift, movement, change, communication, right? So an energetic shift into a Two of Cups relationship after you've dealt with your repressed emotions and the blocking of any kind of creation because of your residual resentment from some past relationship or relationships. Eight of Wands, an energetic shift. But you're like, why? It always gets left out in the cold. The Seven of Cups in reverse, diversionary tactics. Why? I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to experience the same pain that I've experienced in the past. Diversionary tactics. The Three of Cups. What about other people? What about my friends? What about my family? What about my other options? What if I want to date around? I have feelings for this person, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I want to be in a committed relationship. What about everything else? And that puts you into the Nine of Swords in reverse, right? Just tormented, tormenting yourself, tormenting. The Chariot, this is about taking action to the Five of Swords to be open to, in reverse, to be open to change. Prince of Cups, to share your feelings in the Lover's Card, a love relationship. These are clarified by the Queen of Swords. This is you speaking truth. Again, speaking truth to yourself, digging deep, trying to look at the situation from an unemotional perspective. Five of Cups in reverse. This Queen of Swords, unlike the King of Swords up here, was like, no, not only no, but hell no. Now you're softening up into the Queen of Swords a little bit. And now you're saying, maybe I can move on from feelings of loss, regret, and despair from my past. Death in reverse. Maybe I can have a personal transformation. Maybe I can share my feelings in a love relationship. Two of Swords in reverse. This is about indecision, confusion, right? Two of Wands in reverse, fear of the unknown, the Seven of Wands, the challenge, the Ace of Wands in reverse, the lack of motivation, all covered by the wheel in reverse. This is breaking cycles. This has been a cycle of your life, and this new love that's coming in is meant to help you break this cycle. This is not a good place to be in. Um, it's not. If you... It, it, Aqua, if you want love in your life, you cannot put the resentment and the hurt of past relationships on somebody new. You need to close out this cycle. You need to heal. You need to balance. The Princess of Wands. This closure of this cycle. See, the Wheel of Fortune is about critical self-analysis. It's about self-realization, right? That's what will push you into the Princess of Wands. Self-realization that you cannot carry this baggage into a new relationship if you want it to be successful. Perhaps that's why perfectionism is right here. When it comes to a love relationship, temperance in reverse and imbalance, maybe that's why past relationships haven't worked out for you because you're carrying all of your bullshit into new relationships. Don't know. Princess of Wands, general reading, right? We'd have to do some forensic tarot to figure out what your issues are. But nevertheless, the Princess of Wands, now you're having some excitement, some exploration, some discovery, some, some desire to actually 
manifest a brand new opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles. Because you've had a tower moment. This whole thing right here is your tower moment. It's an awakening. It's upheaval in your emotions and your thoughts and an awakening. Because whatever this new love is right here really has you on a roll. It has you on a tear, Aquarius. And you're being all defensive in your crab walk. And you're like, nope, 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 nope. Not going to do it. Not going to give it a chance. Not going to be vulnerable. Not going to open myself up. Nope, 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 nope. Spirit comes in and says, yo, sis, yo, bro, if you ever want any kind of love in your life, you're going to have to come to terms with your shit from your past. And boom, that's the tower moment. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Perfectionism, right? There is no perfect relationship. And you have to make yourself vulnerable if you want to experience the rewards of a genuine love relationship. And that's your awakening with perfectionism to the tower. The seven of cups, fantasy, illusion, wishful thinking. You are trying to talk yourself out of what could be potentially a very good relationship. The world in reverse. Again, more critical self-analysis. Critical self-analysis is going to bring about the completion of a cycle. Breaking the cycle. The cycle of sabotaging yourself in relationships. To the moon. This is your subconscious mind. Your intuition. This is the release of fear. To the Five of Cups, the fear of loss, regret, disappointment, and despair. The Hierophant in reverse. This is the reevaluation of your personal belief system. This is you in perfectionism, right? This is you realizing that not every relationship, actually probably no relationships are going to meet all of your expectations. And you need to let go of your ultra high expectations and maybe negotiate or compromise just a little, right? If, if you make a list of 10 characteristics and somebody hits six of the 10, there's room for growth there, right? If they hit two of the 10, keep rolling, keep looking. If they hit half of your list, maybe some potential. If they hit more than half, oh my God, I mean, what more do you want? The emperor in reverse. This is stubborn, right? This is stubborn. This is somebody who wants to exhibit excessive control of the situation. And that's what this is all about. You having you your desire to have excessive control so you don't get hurt. But that's not the way that it rolls. It's not. We're all vulnerable. When we open ourselves up to a love relationship, we are immediately vulnerable. And for you to enter into a love relationship, Aquarius, you have to allow yourself to be vulnerable. And there you are with the star. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal because of a massive transformation of your life, an awakening that you cannot harbor your pain and resentment from the past, and you cannot put that on somebody else. It's not their fault, and it's not their responsibility. And there you go. Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, spiritual path. To the Page of Wands, exploration, discovery, excitement. To the Two of Wands, looking into the future, feeling excited and enthusiastic. The Chariot, rolling, taking some action, moving towards new love. The Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, comes after you, you recover and heal yourself from the crisis and the betrayal and the sloppy endings from the past. There is Ten of Cups. Waiting for you, Pis Pisces, <laughs> Aquarius. Aquarius, you can have the Ten of Cups. And this relationship has the potential to be beautiful. We have the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Lovers, the Prince of Cups, the Two of Cups, the Star, the King of Cups, the Chariot, twice. My God, 
I mean, what else do you want? Person, woman, I almost said woman, man, dude, sis, bro. What else do you want from a relationship? To the three of wands, have some foresight. Have some foresight. Prepare to expand. Prepare for your ships to come in and for things to, to possibly be good this time around. There you go, Aquarius. That was your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Namaste.